Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at Heroes Park with uh, one of my favorite new drones, the DJI uh, Mini 4K, or the Ron Mini 4K as I call it, named after my good friend Ron Brown. Uh, this drone, for the price, packs a lot of features, one of which is called Quick Shots. Quick Shots are what they call intelligent flight modes. In other words, the drone can do automated shots uh, without you, without your uh, thumbs on the control or fingers on the control. Uh, pretty handy little feature. Uh, so I know there's a lot of people, because of the price point, this is their first drone. Let me show you what you can do with those quick shots and kind of just give you a little guide uh, on how to do them and uh, how it can work for you. So uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. Uh, let's get this bird in the air. Okay, we've got the, uh, the drone fired up, uh, so uh, let's go ahead and do an automated takeoff. Holding down that takeoff button. And uh, the drone recorded its, uh, its home point. If you want to learn uh, about uh, everything you wanted to know about return to home, I made another video about that, plus a beginner's guide to this drone as well. If you check out my channel and check out the, uh, the uh, mini 4K playlist, you will find those videos. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm picking the camera back up just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do a manual droney. So it's one of the things that you can automate with this, uh, with this drone. And we're faced into the uh, sun, that's not good. Let me get on the other side here. Okay, so a droney is essentially a pull away shot. So uh, in this case, I'm going to do it just manually on the sticks, and then we'll go into quick shots and we'll show you uh, how to do it within quick shots. So reverse and up, uh, reverse and up, and I drop that camera down a little bit, and yeah, it's, I'm kind of in center of frame there. But that's what a droney is, and that's one of the things that you can do in an automated way uh, with the drone. Let's bring the drone back in here. And, and we'll start off doing some quick shots. Wow, wow, right over the top of my head. Ah, oh, well, we better back it up some, huh? <laughs> this, is, uh, this little drone is faster than what you think, so uh, you gotta pay attention. So, uh, I just having a bit of fun there. So let's bring it around and bring it down. The other thing that I'm gonna tell you about is when you're in these automated flight modes, uh, remember that you want to make sure you're clear of obstacles. I'm going to stand a little bit separated from the camera here so that the drone can uh, discern where I'm at. Well, let's see how it does. I'm kind of silhouetted with the sun at my back and I realized I uh, forgot to start recording. So what you just saw was on a uh, screen recording, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and begin here. And, and by the way, uh, that was probably needless starting that recording because we have to stop recording in order to get into the quick shots. So, uh, so I'm going to stop recording. And uh, uh, yeah. Okay, then we've got the uh, film strip there right above the record button. You see that little, looks like a piece of film. Click on that. And if you go uh, one down from video there, it says quick shots. We're going to click on that and it gives us a bunch of selections. And you'll notice uh, that it's got a plus sign on me. Uh, the other thing I want you to note is down in the uh, bottom uh, left there, well, let's say the drone is uh, about two meters high. You can't do a quick shot below two meters high. It's gotta be at least two meters. So let's click on that plus shot. Yeah, it's got me, so it's saying okay. And then you can also see a pull down there just below me that's telling the distance. So we can set the distance of the droney. 30 meters isn't much. Let's click it up to, I don't know, let's do a 50 meter uh, uh, quick shot, or uh, droney. Let's see how high will it go. Man, it'll go all the way 120 meters, which is 400 feet. So it'll go out there quite a ways. Uh, let's just do uh, 50 meters, which is uh, roughly uh, a little over 150 feet. Now, where you had the record button before you see the start button, uh, simply click on that on the app and you'll see a countdown on the screen. And you see it, three, two, one, and then it'll begin uh, its countdown and it'll start, it automatically started recording. Uh, and in this case, 
I didn't change the, uh, the resolution, so it's only recording this at 1080p. I could have manually changed that resolution, but you see it backing up, and it's going to back up uh, that uh, uh, what, 50 meters or whatever we had. So, and you're going to see distance further because uh, it was a ways away from me when we started it. Yeah, and then now it's telling us quick shot's complete, so it's returning to us. And I, what I like about DJI is it returns to its starting point. I know some people don't like that. Uh, I do. I think, it's a, I think it's a good feature. And you'll notice that it stopped recording too. Uh, so one of the things that I'm going to do while we're in quick shots here, I want to record them in 4K. So what I neglected to do on that one was change the uh, resolution. So I'm going to click on that in the bottom right right now. Resolution, I'm going to go to 4K. And that way we can get that quick shot in 4K. Now, it's still on Droney, so let's click on that little up arrow above the start button, and then we can go to the next uh, quick shot, which is Rocket. And by the way, there's five of them, and we'll go through each one of them. So let's click on Rocket. What Rocket does is it goes straight up and keeps you in center of frame, so just uh, a straight up shot. So uh, 30 meters, I think you're going to find on a Rocket, you don't need to go that high, so 30 meters is fine. Let's click start, and it gives us that countdown again, and, uh, and yeah, up it goes. And uh, this time we're shooting in 4K, so we'll have a little bit better uh, resolution than we did before. But you can see how it's keeping me in center of frame there. Uh, just pretty cool. Uh, they, they built some really neat uh, automation into this. Again, $299 drone. It just... Uh, it amazes me uh, what the value that, uh, that DJI built into this little drone. Uh, and it'll come back down to its starting point just like it did after it did that droning. You can see it says returning on that right hand side, the little red uh, dot there. It says returning. As soon as it gets back, that'll go green. And uh, yeah, it's lifting the camera back up that's pointing back at us again. I did not touch any of the controls. It did all of that uh, by itself. So. Uh, okay, so the next one in line here is, uh, is a circle. This one's kind of fun. So I think, uh, well, no, we're fine. We're fine as is. I'm going to leave it at two meters high, and uh, I'm going to tap on myself. And you can see that arrow on the bottom. In this case, we're going to go clockwise, but you could go counterclockwise as well. And again, we're going to hit the start button and the drone will do a perfect orbit around it. So hit and start now. Three, two, one, and it'll start. And then also that red uh, dot, you know where the start button was? Uh, you can see that there's a white uh, line going around the circle. Uh, and what that is, is uh, it tells you the percentage uh, that it's complete. And in this case, it does one full orbit, and then it'll stop. Boom, there we go. So uh, if you want to do an orbit around, uh, you, you know, you're with a, a group or you're by a, uh, uh, some sort of a uh, uh, point of interest that you want to get a perfect orbit around, that's a, way, though, a good way to do it, automated, and you're not worried about the sticks. Okay, let's click on that again. And the next one down, man, this is my favorite by far. This is the Helix. The Helix is amazing. What the Helix does, essentially does a corkscrew. The drone uh, orbits you, pulls away, and gains an altitude at the same time. So let's click, click that plus, and again, you can do clockwise or counterclockwise. We did clockwise on the last one, so let's do counterclockwise. Hitting that start button, three, two, one, and off it goes. And it's starting that helix, and it's, uh, it's moving up in altitude, backing away, and orbiting all at the same time while keeping us in center of frame. Uh, it's pretty extraordinary, really. I, uh, I think it's pretty cool. So it's just about done here, and boom, 100%, uh, and it'll return. Quick shot complete, it says, and it'll return to its starting point. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm starting these pretty close to me. I think they're more effective when they're closer to you. 
However, uh, you can do them uh, further away. In other words, you could have the drone higher and further away from you. Uh, so let's click on that uh, helix again. And the last one is called boomerang. And basically, the drone does an oblong around you, kind of a football, but it gets higher and then returns to a lower altitude uh, as it completes that mission. So uh, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, let's do this one clockwise. So uh, let's hit start here, and again we get that countdown. This is kind of a fun one too. You could do this uh, manually with the sticks, uh, but but it it takes a fair amount of focus when you're doing multiple moves at the same time. It takes some focus, and to be able to automate those moves uh, is is a pretty handy uh, feature. You know, if you had uh, you wanted you're a uh, family reunion or something, and you want to get uh, pictures of the of the whole group, this is a cool way to do it to get some great shots. The other thing, lastly, though, what I'm going to warn you about again, though, is to uh, uh, make sure that there's uh, this drone has. Let me back up a little bit. This drone has no obstacle avoidance. In other words, it doesn't know if something is in its path. So you saw me starting these fairly low to the ground, and I'm out in the middle of the field, but if you were somewhere where there was trees or other obstacles, buildings, etc., you want to make sure that the drone is high enough that it's going to clear all those objects, because it's not going to know they're there, and it'll run right into them when it's in these automated modes. I'm going to do one more for you here. Because we were kind of facing, uh, and this is me manually flying the drone now, because we were facing, uh, uh, or I was silhouetted when we did that first droney, I uh, had the sun uh, kind of at my, uh, at my back. I want to do another one here. So uh, this will look a lot better. And you can see I'm quite a ways away. Well, I'm 15 meters away from myself, and uh, let's click on, go back to Droney, and let's, uh, it, it's, it has me again, and let's click back max distance here. Let's go all the way up to 120 meters, and let's hit uh, start here, and uh, let's just let the drone go. Subject lost, I'll be darn, okay. Maybe we better bring it in just a little closer. Again, I was 15 meters away, so let's try that again. I think it's got me pretty good now. So, uh, so let's go ahead and click Start. And it's going to count down. And off it goes. And this is going to be a big, long droney here. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh man, it's it, it, you know as you can see, uh, and and it eventually it even kind of loses the point of interest, but it'll continue the droney. It's only halfway through. It's it's really going to go here. It's going a long ways. We're three quarters of the way through, so you can do a big long droney. But this is pretty cool. Look at the Boise front in the background, etc. Uh, again, getting the sun at the back of the drone makes a big difference. It's uh, a lot more cinematic. Uh, so anyway, it's all the way out there, and uh, and it's coming back to us. So okay, the drone came back. It's it's not quite its its uh, original spot, but uh, let's also since we're talking about automated flight modes, return to home is one of them. So let's fly the drone back a little ways and hit return to home real quick here, and uh, and you can we'll see how close it gets to the landing pad. I'm going to do a return to home on the controller. And you hear that button. Uh, return to home is really just another automated flight mode. And I will drop the camera down here. The drone's probably almost back to us. So you saw the drone twist there. That was me. I wanted to see if I could yaw the drone while it was in return to home. And you can. So look at that. It's pretty darn close to that. Uh, man, it it may hit that pad right on. Now this drone does not pretend to have uh, precision landing uh, at this price point, but, uh, but it's going to be pretty close. It's coming down pretty slowly here. Oh, 
Okay, you can see it on the action camera now. Let's just let the drone land and let's see how close it gets to the pad. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit off. It's gonna mow some grass. Yeah, there's a little bit of grass. It was pretty close. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the little DJI Mini 4K. Uh, such an amazing piece of tech for the money. Uh, you're gonna get tired of hearing me say this, but $299, can't believe the technology they packed into this little guy. Great beginner drone, great drone if you're a veteran pilot as well, something you can keep in your vehicle with you and you've got your drone with you when you need it and you don't have a lot of money uh, invested. Takes fantastic 4K video. Uh, anyway, I just have a lot of fun with this guy, can you tell? Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that recap of quick shots. I do want to say one more thing because I get asked this question a lot. I've got a micro SD card inserted in the drone. The drone will not do quick shots without a micro SD card inserted. Uh, in other words, if you're trying to fly the drone and you're not recording video so you don't uh, put an SD card in there, it will not do the quick shots. It'll just be grayed out on your screen. So even if you don't want to save the video or whatever, uh, you're just flying the drone and having fun, uh, slip a micro SD card in there and then you'll be able to do the, uh, the quick shots. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, just a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed those uh, uh, and I hope you learned something. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, Please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to uh, look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. And I promise you, I'll have uh, more videos with a little DJI Mini 4K. See you guys later.